Hey everybody, spring is fast approaching. Yes. And you know what that means? Riding season. Riding season. The snow has melted. And it's time to go. And it's time to ride. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I am Rich. And I'm Cake. And what we're going to talk about today is your long vacation. Ooh. And what we're going to do is basically talk about some of the things that we've done on our vacation mm -hmm. to help you have a better vacation. In other words, mistakes that you should not make you gonna tell all of them we're gonna tell as much as we can no we're gonna say what's on that list that's right here <laughs> right there that's what we're gonna say okay she gave we us away a list. we have a list right here yeah we're gonna keep it pretty relatively short and mm -hmm. you know we take super long vacations and we have taken at least six cross-country trips so far or more and we have made some mistakes we have learned early on when we first start riding mm -hmm. long distances yep. and we learn some things later on when we continue to ride long distance. So, and we learned some things on the recent trip we just had. Oh, yes. So we got to keep it relatively short, but don't forget to put some of the things that you learn on your, your trips right. in the list and the comment section. So we're going to get started right now. You want to take the first one or you want me? I think I could take the first one. The okay. first one say, well, I don't have my glasses on y'all, so excuse me while I lean closer. <laughs> Booking your room way far ahead, further than what you are prepared to ride. Right. You know, you know, you have the miles that you set yourself that you want to ride to, but your room is past those miles. So we've done that yeah. a couple of times. And one, one of the reasons we talk about that one is because, you know, we will book a room, especially if you book a room that you have to pay for. Right. And we would book it out, let's say, 350 miles out. And then all of a sudden we ride 150 miles and we just getting off the bikes, hiking, having fun, doing what we do. And now you're just tired and the sun starts to set. You're like, oh, man, we got to ride another 200 another plus, 200 miles. plus miles. Another 200 plus miles to go. So We've don't book that. your room so far out. Do what we normally do is what we call sundowners, which is in an area that depending on how long we've ridden or and when the sun starts going, then we say, okay, now it's time to stay here and book a room. Or we'll say, okay, let's go another 25 miles it's, or so and book a room there. It's not only how long we've ridden, but what we've done along exactly. that route. Exactly. So okay. Sometimes that take a toll on us. Cool. You can take the next one. I got the next one. Yeah. This next one is overpacking. Okay. We have overpacked. We don't do it anymore. Yes. But we have overpacked. So be careful not to do like us. Don't overpack. If you haven't seen our what we pack video, or I guess packing video, I will put it right. in so you can watch it. But remember, we have big bikes, so we pack a lot of stuff on our bike. Now, when you watch that video, which I would suggest you go watch it, that is the condensed version. We we actually <laughs> condensed it down. From that. Yeah, you know when you're used to traveling with three suitcases and you got shoes to match each outfit, <laughs> ladies, you know what I'm talking about. So when I had to condense them by three pair of jeans, three pair of jeans. Yes, because oh. we were riding with yeah, like seven pair of jeans, one for each day, including our riding clothing, right? T-shirts and hundreds of socks and all that. And then we realized, you know, after that very first trip, we right. need to condense this down so that we, video you're going to watch is actually condensed. We found out that there's washers and dryers everywhere we go. Yes. So now we don't have to worry about taking that many clothes. We condensed it down and we pack things that we don't mind leaving behind or giving it to someone who's less fortunate and don't have as much. And, and that's that one I would, I, would, I would like you guys to answer below. Have you ever overpacked, especially on your first trip? I know right. sometimes it may take some people a while before they start breaking things down and realize they got things that they will never use. So exactly. Definitely right there. Have you ever overpacked? Okay. The next one is gas stops. Make oh, yeah. sure you plan that route and you know exactly where the gas stations are. Mm -hmm. Because. What are you talking about? <laughs> so what you about to say? What you pointing at me no. for? We, no. we, we done it uh, twice. Once in Canada, when that sign says last gas station, next gas station is such and such and such miles, but it wasn't miles, it was kilometers. Kilometers. 
So we didn't do the conversion and well, we thought that we was kind we of doing. scary. We didn't run out of gas, but it was scary. It was it, it was, was kind borderline. of borderline. It was on scary. E. It was like it was on the F. light didn't come on. We yet. were on film, so we were safe. So we actually actually slowed down. We got in the slow lane and we're doing like forty five miles an hour. Thirty five, more like thirty five. Yeah, so that's fast. Hey, get out the way, blowing their horns. My mom was like, "Hey, hey!" We thought they were just being nice to us. We didn't know, but we made it to the thing. So remember, especially if you like us, you like to take back roads. Also, you need to know where that next gas station is. Exactly. Or take every opportunity to fill up because they said last gas station mm-hmm. to whatever the mileage was or the kilometers were and we didn't take advantage of that. That right. was one of the scary ones. And we always said we're going to put a gas can on our bike. Yeah, when so we do Alaska. When we do the Alaska trip, yes. we're going to have the gas can. Who had that one? Me or you? Gas tank. I'll take the next one. Take the next one, number four. we gone on our list. We only mm-hmm. have 10, so it's, it's, it's a good one. And they're not in no particular order. We just kind of went off the top of our head today, wrote them down, and put the list up. Right. But the next one is missing <laughs> gear. What you laughing for? <laughs> because gear. all of these are lessons, and that missing gear one, you know. It was a big one. And let me just talk about one thing big. in particular. We went out and left our rain gear, our foul <laughs> weather gear, at home. And, and you, you know, know what they say about yes. rain gear, right? You forget your rain gear, it's going to it's rain. It's rain. It was storm. Over. And it rained, and we pulled over. Where were we? We were in Utah. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. On our way to Bryce Canyon. Yes. And it started raining. So we pull over, look for our rain gear, and it's not there. We couldn't reach it because we left it on the shelf <laughs> in on the, the garage. <laughs> well, the, at home. The, the, the weird but, thing about that is. Willie and Melody came over the night before, and we went over our checklist together. Yes. But even though now we can actually pack without without using a checklist, but we refuse not to use the checklist because we know there's going to be that little something that you're going to miss. So if you have a checklist, learn from us. Well, Go was, down your checklist. It use was it. packed. The rain gear was packed because we put that on last, in last. It was packed, but we had to get something out the bike. So when we went to get it, we took the Rain gear off, put it on the shelf. Right, got what we right. what we needed, and we didn't put it back on there. So, and why she saying we? Lesson learned. <laughs> no, not me. It was you. It was your rain gear. Well, we no, we. I was my rain gear. We missed. Anyway, we're gonna move forward. This one, the next one is is a, is a very important one because it's it's got safety in mind. Yeah. And, and that's not yes. getting enough getting enough rest. The night you know, before. Yeah, and, and I always have a problem with that the night before going on a, yes, uh, on a big trip. You We're do. doing a weekend trip, you know, maybe one week is not a big deal, but when it comes to the big trips, mm-hmm. I get anxious, I get excited, and I cannot rest, get when enough sleep. Coming. Tell them what. We went on a trip, y'all. We didn't discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> and the night before, he's like, I'm going to sleep. Well, you come to sleep. No, I'm not sleepy, but I get my rest, though. I'm well rested when we ride. Well, I'm a light sleeper, too. Okay. But we weren't even 50 miles from the house before he said, man, we need to pull over. <laughs> I'm tired. You tired? <laughs> if you know Patterson Pass, the Patterson, California, High Five, we didn't even get that far. So, or maybe we have. Well, but anyway. the, the point is, it's a lesson learned. Know your body when it's tired, when you are tired and sleepy, pull over. He, he need to go to sleep two days before, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, so anyway. Yeah, so. I, I, I just wind up just stand. Even when I go to bed early, I'm just so excited about we're about to leave. We're about to get on the road. Right. You know, we got this thing we call road sick. You know, when you're out on the road and you, you're finally about to make your way home, you get homesick. You want to get back home. For us, we get home. And we get road, road sick. sick. We're ready we to get back, get on, the back on the so road. So get your bike prepared. Get ready to do this thing. And, and put some of the things that you have done, some of the lessons you have learned in the comments section. We really want to hear that. Whether you took a weekend trip or a long road trip, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let us know about it. So okay, what's the next one? The next one says not booking a room. Not booking a room. Remember we had booking a room too far? Yeah. And now we have one that's not, no, booking, not a booking a room that a room. came back to bite us before. Yeah. Because we like doing well, it. Well, with, with that, and I'm going to add this to it, 
we we didn't book because we normally go to this one hotel, Motel Six in Southern California by yes. the, um I know what Highway One Hundred One, right off of there. Yeah, because we were riding, riding one up first. And we get there, and the guy said one hundred and eighty-five dollars. And oh, I'm like, Motel, oh, Motel Six. Six. I'm like, oh, you out said, Yeah, I'm like, you you tripping? He said, Well, there's a football team here. <laughs> she she be, she being mild right now. She she being mild because the camera's on. Let me tell she my story. She was screaming and and I, I did not person. scream. You were peeled. I said, Why is it so much? He said, Because. There's a football team in town, and they're right across the street. Well, what does that have to do with me? I don't even... See how you're getting a little upset right now? Yes, I am. Every time I think about it and tell a story, yeah, I get upset. It wasn't upset. Come Mm -hmm. on. It's a football team. I said, a football team. I said, I don't give a care about the football team. I said, I don't even like them. You know, the team with the star on the helmet? She... I don't like them. was not being as nice as she's telling you guys right now. She was upset. Anyway, we wind up riding to the next... 100, not even 100 miles, yeah, about 70 went. miles in the dark, and we wind up getting to our location about 12, 12, about 30, 1, 1, 1 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Even though we had our <clears throat> heated gear on, we was riding the, the coast, and it was freezing. So, remember, to book a room, if you need to book a room, don't wait till the sun is all the way and set. And also, make sure you find out what event is going on in that area, Yeah, yeah. because you know, the hotels will... It will jack the we'll prices up, up no matter what. Even for football teams. Football teams. Anyway. Sorry, team. What's the next one? What, what was that? Was that not booking the room? Oh, not booking the room. Rushing. You're, you're on a vacation. Take your time. Don't rush. We rushed from Utah on our way to Arizona. And that was, we was getting in late and, at night that time also. Yeah, we was getting in late. But we had we, already had the room. We kept late. seeing the sign, watch out for animals. Next 75 miles. Really? Okay, but it's dark, so we missed some things. So we just wanted to get to where we were going. And, From point A to point V. Right. But we just put a light to it and say, hey, we'll just make it a bike trip and go back. Yeah, so, to see so what we wanted to see. What we do, like most riders do now, we learn from that lesson is instead of leaving late, sleeping in when we don't really need to, uh, just kind of leave a little early and, and get to see the things that you want to see. Right. Yeah. So. That was the time when so, I, I, I was going to Grand Canyon. I had all the problems with my tire. Yes. That was that <laughs> Okay. Time. Moving on. Moving on to the next one. It, Not checking the weather forecast. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. That was a doozy for we, us. We didn't have something like that before, but so, the one, I know which one you're going to say. Yeah, we were in Omaha, Nebraska. Yes. And we stopped for the night. And we didn't check the forecast. Had we checked, we would have went a little further ahead and got ahead of the storm, major storm that was coming in. But we stopped and we was like, ooh, a storm is coming in. Let's call to see if we could The storm was coming in the next day. Yeah, it was coming in the next day. This was a Thursday. So I called to find out if there were still rooms available to add on another night, another stay. Right. So he said, yeah, okay. I said, we'll stay in the same room. He said, yeah. I said, same price. He said, yes. Because it was I Thursday. I said, okay. And, you and know, it was a Thursday. So Thursday prices are cheaper than the weekend. Right. So by being that Friday would be the extra day, they raised the price up. So we, he said, yeah, okay. Yeah, you'll stay in the same room. I'm like, cool. We don't have to pack up and move. We stay in the same room. Like, okay, great. Then we left to get his dinner. Dinner, and steak. he ate the best. Steak. Well, Go ahead, tell him well, about well, that steak. It, I, it was probably the best steak I ever had in my life. Mm-hmm. And I told Stevie Foe that we come back to Nebraska, we going out together, and we going to get us some food. But when we coming back, we decided to stop at the front desk. Well, she stopped at the front desk yeah. to make sure that. I was getting ready to pay for the room. And make sure we actually had and it. And had it for the same price. And the same and price. He said, yeah. It's, he, then he said, yeah, your book. I said, for the same price. And he said, no. I said, what you mean, no? I said, less. He said, no. I said, so more? He said, no, zero. We're gonna, you guys are on the bikes. The bad right. weather is coming in. This That next night's stay will be on us. And yes. yes. We, you we, know, I thank him. Yeah, we got a free night nice stay. So that, that was night, a good thing. Free night. But the, the, that one is basically check your forecast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and remember the time we was riding and, and we walked out the room and the sun was on us and it was nice and warm and we did not put our heated gear on. We got on the freeway. I always said North Dakota. You say it was uh, Montana. 
Anyway, mm-hmm. we got on the freeway and it was freezing. It was almost like 40 degrees. <laughs> and you know, you riding on the freeway and it's 40 degrees. We pulled over the next mm-hmm. exit, put our heat in gear. No, that was Nebraska, leaving Nebraska. Oh, was it? For this yes. trip? For the trip we're talking about? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. My that bad. was the same day we was leaving and it was freezing. We yeah, had to so and put on our heat gear. The next thing that that I, I don't know if we would call this a mistake, but it's something that we do that mm-hmm. I know we never gonna stop doing, and we know you all do it also. <laughs> Come on now, tell us, tell us you you know you're gonna do watch, and that is overeating. When we out on the road, we're not trying to stay on no strict diet, and what we love buffet buffets. We find a buffet, buffet. it is on. We went in the buffet. On the bikes. Right, right. Ate all we can eat, you know, buffets, all you can eat. We, we still do it, so I don't know if, we, that, if that's we want to consider Came out looking for the car, yes. and it wasn't there. We realized we were on a we motorcycle. On a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. It's not a good feeling. And we were like, ooh, sure wish this buffet was attached <laughs> to a hotel, because we would have got a room that day. So come on now. But I wouldn't say that was a mistake, it but it is. It's not a mistake. It's, it's, it falls on a lesson learned. Mm-hmm. We learned that. When we get someplace, don't overeat, even though we still do. Yeah, you know how uncomfortable it is when yeah. you do, especially yeah. riding a bike. Yeah. And you full. <laughs> but anyway, so we're gonna go over this, this next Stop one. overeating on the on the trip. This next one is a, the last one. And obviously we could put more. We know we missed a lot, so like we say, put it in the comment section. Mm-hmm. Go on subscribe to the channel. We don't mind you doing that. Trust me. Right. <laughs> and the last one is to relax. Definitely, you need to relax, and this Don't goes with tend. all riding the trip, not just right. not just long trips. But it, when you're on a long trip, it really applies because if you set your mileage 300, 400 miles a day, mm-hmm. remember you out in the elements, and that wind is beating you up, the weather is changing, the weather is beating you up, and you just need to relax. If you tense, you know you ride, you holding, you gripping the handlebar, even and when you pass the trucks, or if you feel a, a breeze blow, you grabbing it. At the end of the day, if you every single day, even if you only rode a hundred miles, right. if you beat up at the end of the day, it's probably because you wasn't relaxed. Probably had nothing to do with your bike. Even if you had the world's most comfortable bike, like we had, just, you, you know. <laughs> just say relax, cake. Just say relax. Tell yourself to relax. And, and say it out loud. All... It, it it works. Right. And say it out loud. You just kind of just relax, and you can go as long as you want to go, without even being beat up or tense at the end of the day. I mean, we had it when our, our daughter rode her first long trip with us. Yeah. And here in California, obviously, we can split lanes, and she's never split lanes before. So Cake decided, hey, we're going to go split lanes. She was nervous, so she trusted her mom and followed Cake splitting lanes. And at the end of the day, she was beat up because she was just nervous. She was tense. She's tense. She yes. was tense. So it was, it was a great trip, but She said, I'm not getting relax. back on that bike. I'm getting on the back of the bike with oh, my Oh, she dad. rode on the back with me? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she I mean, rode I mean, on the back. Once we got to the destination, she parked that bike and locked it, and then ride on it back too. on it until we had it back home. So anyway, that's what we have right now. We only have ten. Trust me, we can put more. We <laughs> no, we're not going to fit all the mistakes. <laughs> right. Well, I wouldn't say mistake. Let's call it a lesson learned. Okay. Yeah. Road trip Let's lessons learned. Lessons learned. So that's Ooh. all we have for right now. So put the lesson that you learned when you were on a road trip, and if you plan taking one this year do not do some of the things that we've done and the no circumstance trust me you will regret it if you do have even have what we put up here right. and don't forget if you come into cali on your vacation northern cali bay area y'all know what to do look us, up. Look us, up. Look us up. and we arrive with you if we are home because we might be on the road <laughs> Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's all we have for now. So remember, if you're out riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and, and most importantly, ride safe. I'm Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm K-A-K-E Cake. Cake. And we out. Peace. Peace. My earrings. Go take that trip. <laughs>